Okay, we are going to talk about Apex REST callouts. Now, there is two methods that we will do, the get method and the post method. So both is an HTTP method. What is an HTTP method? It's basically a method that's used by websites. You see here HTTPS, S stands for secure. So basically, you are connecting to another web server or web surface from your Apex um, code. So you can get data from another web server or web surface. For example, you are get, getting data from any uh, other platform, a foreign exchange um, service to know the conversion rate between any two currencies, or you can also get weather, weather um, forecast for today, for tomorrow on a particular city or area. You can get that from another web service and display it on your Apex okay or on your visual force page or what have you so what is a post method post method means you are posting data so you are sending data so you're actually wanting to update something on the other end not just getting it but actually posting it that's the main difference which is pretty obvious right for example you have a shopping cart website and then Salesforce handles all the shipping of any merchandise that is purchased on the website. So once the item has been shipped, you post data to the, to the shopping cart and marking it as shipped and then the customer will get an email notification. That's one example of a post method that you can use so enough about that now we can actually test how post and get works in your apex code so this is an example how you can get data from a surface before we actually can connect to another surface you have to authorize your endpoint addresses which we have done on the previous trail right we have added this and another one so let's go right ahead to our trailhead playground and try to execute this code i'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that head over to my playground and go to my developer console and go to your execute anonymous window and i'm going to change this to our new code let's make it bigger there and boom so basically we are setting an HTTP request to this endpoint which is a get method and then we are parsing whatever JSON response this web surface is returning back to our Apex so I'm going to check my open log checkbox here and execute. And I'm going to check debug only. Here we have the response already parsed. Receive the following animals. Majestic, badger, fluffy bunny, scary bear, and chicken. You should make fried chicken <laughs> or little chicken. Okay, I'm just going to close this. So that's how you perform a GET request. And then you can parse the data however you want it and manipulate that data that is being returned and displayed in Salesforce however you want it. Pretty simple, right? Pretty straightforward. So that's basically a GET request. Now, what if you want to send data or post data 
to another platform, say for our example, a shopping cart on your web um, shopping cart, your web store, right? Say we ship something and we want to we want to post or update our shopping cart and mark that order to be shipped because it has been shipped. So I'm going to copy this and we are going to head over to our playground again over here and execute anonymous window paste now same thing http request this is the endpoints ending with animals and we are now doing a post method a post instead of a get and we define the content type which is application json and the character set is utf8 and we are putting the, the data this is the data we are putting request dot set body this so this is basically the same thing like we are we were doing in the workbench right the utility where we actually put the url and then we do post get put patch this is the same thing okay so once we put the body the web server will return something and we got to parse it again I'm going to execute that and see what the debug log says. Here we are. Majestic Badger, Fluffy Bunny, Scary Bear Chicken, and Mighty Moose. What just happened there? If we see the code, because we have added Mighty Moose, we added an animal. So if I put... Um, um funny not funny yeah whatever funny dog right and i'm gonna execute this guy he's gonna add funny dog because it's actually adding data right that's now there's a funny dog there so that's how you add data or update data on the other platform which you are connecting from your apex code now that was pretty straightforward and simple but there is a but what is the but the but is the tests dude the test callouts now this is pretty tricky because salesforce doesn't allow us to do tests on real endpoints we have to do a mock or a fake response so the big difference is when we are doing apex test we have to create a simulation so to speak a fake response of what the real endpoint will return so we have to simulate it we have to fake it you know sometimes you have to fake it right fake it <laughs> Okay, so we have to fake it in this case. So, I want to split this video because this will get too long if I discuss the whole thing is in one video. So, I'm going to stop here. And on the next video, we are going to discuss just about creating test callouts and how to create mock, mock, uh, mock uh, callouts for, for the purpose of fulfilling the Apex test for HTTP callouts. I'll see you on the next video. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.